Are you a story saboteur? How to avoid costly online PR mistakes. With online PR, every effective press release begins with a story. But the average person is exposed to more than 3,000 marketing messages each day. Will your story get lost in the media clutter? Content is the lifeblood of any business, online and off. Too bad most content marketers either miss the real story or sabotage themselves with a trite and routine message. The good news? The most powerful story you'll ever develop does exist. But it's hidden and requires the right thinking and tools to be successfully unearthed. When you mine and leverage your story correctly the resulting momentum catapults your business forward. This boost comes from a surge in online PR exposure, more website traffic and new business leads. What makes most content so ho-hum? Specifically, these two problem areas, the message slash story the vehicle chosen to distribute slash share the message, this article addresses item number one, the message slash story. And rightly so because I've tracked two fatal flaws that kill response no matter what distribution vehicle you choose. So, how do you know if you commit story sabotage? Your arrival at Ho Humland is predestined when your content is superficial and conventional. Your content development process is lazy or incomplete. Now your little voice may be saying, Thanks, Captain Obvious, tell me something I don't know. I say, chill little voice, while I explain many of you blog, write articles or online press releases, and even do video marketing. Such are great accomplishments, one and all. First, let me acknowledge the value of action and implementation. Now since you've mastered some of the basics, how about boosting your performance and become a Jedi master of content? Your newfound story force will take your marketing and business to new pinnacles of success. All it takes is a course correction. Or two, I guess your content is superficial and conventional? A self-test, ask yourself is my content part of the problem or part of the solution? If your content says the same thing as others in your industry, that's a problem. Conversely, if it informs, entertains, and positions you successfully, it's a winning solution. As a copywriter by trade, I know how easy it is to fall in love with my own words. That's why it's helpful to have others give you objective, third party feedback. First, let's give your content generation process a tune up. You can find some helpful guidance in the book How to Get Ideas by Jack Foster. There is a story in the book about a copywriter writing an ad about bacon. Something we often think of as generic foodstuff and a commodity. The book lists six pages of questions the copywriter asked the client about what made their bacon unique. Six pages. Everything from what type of slop they ate to how long the bacon is cured. This is a prime example of unique content, not superficial and conventional as well as a process that is fully engaged rather than lazily pursued. Now, that little voice is screaming, I don't have the time and I'm not a professional copywriter. The good news? I've spent 25 years testing stories. So I've developed a few best practices and shortcuts. Ready for one now, you should look at your content from the viewpoint of two levels of communication, the backstory, in other words, the story behind the story. What's the background for your message? Insider tips, what special message are you sending? How is your content unique? Content development for online PR or other content marketing needn't be a chore. In fact, just the opposite. It can be an imaginative, exciting with a great feeling of accomplishment. Don't settle for the superficial especially since adding something extra will capture the attention of your target audience. The secrets revealed in this article will help you do just that. As a reminder, print out this article and keep it at your fingertips as a checklist on creating effective online PR and other marketing content. That way, you're sure to transcend so many others that think just stating the obvious is enough.